Hey, what's up studs? Ryan here or MR Productions and welcome to my comparison of three amazing Lego Star Wars sets based off episode two and the Clone Wars here with the Republic gunship sets. This is of course going to follow the MR comparison going through minifigures, playability, design, value, MR opinion, and finally leading us into a final score there to decide which of these Republic gunships is better. And you can of course vote on the poll that'll be on the top right of the screen as to which gunship you think is better. But first, with some general information about each set, on the left here, we have the 7163 Republic gunship from 2002. It retailed for $90 when it was released, which adjusted for inflation in 2020 money is about $128. You're looking at 693 pieces included and seven minifigures plus a destroyer droid or droidica. Next up is the 7676 Republic Attack Gunship from 2008. It retailed for $120 upon its release and adjusted for inflation. You're looking at about $143. The set includes 1,034 pieces and you'll find five minifigures at the front of it here being Obi-Wan Kenobi, Plo Koon, Asajj, Ventress, Commander Cody, and a regular clone trooper. So that model notably was based off the Clone Wars versus Episode 2 for the other two models that had the side turrets, although in the Clone Wars, some of the gunships have the side turrets, but this one was specifically the Clone Wars versus the other two, which were episode two, which you can 100% tell by the minifigures. And this here is the 75021 Republic gunship from 2013. When it was released, it cost $120, just like the 2008 version, actually, which was kind of surprising. And adjusted for inflation, you're looking at about $132, 1,175 pieces. And then you have seven minifigures here in the Set, including Padme, Anakin, and Obi-Wan there, some clones, and some super battle droids. Kind of interesting to see two sets include two super battle droids, but with different colors, so we'll definitely take a look at that in the minifigure section right now. Starting off in 2002 here, you have seven minifigures along with a eighth character being a droidica who looks great. It's my favorite droidica design that Lego has ever made. It's also the first, so maybe that just has something to do with it. Not sure. Even though some of the newer ones have maybe more accurate looks, I just feel like this one's the cleanest and it rolls up into a ball quite nicely. Followed by that, you have two super battle droids in this metallic blue, and that is very different than the gray of modern day. And so you can see that it looks very beautiful beautiful. I will say uh, super battle droids in general have a problem where their arms and legs do snap like the clips on them snap so that is a problem but overall great super battle droid minifigures you have four regular episode two clone troopers which i think is great i love getting enough characters to fill out my gunship and four clone troopers filled out both of the bubble turrets and both of the pilot seats so that was really nice while we didn't get a pilot minifigure which may have been preferred by some people i think including four clone troopers was still a great choice for the set and finally perhaps the best figure out of any of the gunships is jedi Bob, or as Lego called him, just a Jedi Knight, I believe, but many people are calling him uh, Jedi Bob at this point, and he looks awesome. Of course, the classic facial expression there, just regular Jedi robes, though, for the rest of the characters. So that is your 2002 gunship character selection. 2008 went in a completely different direction. You had Obi-Wan Kenobi from the Clone Wars. You had Plo Koon, of course, from the Clone Wars. And then you had Asajj Ventress, who had her own lightsaber hilts, which are great pieces. Ventress looking amazing there, even with her little cape down on her legs. And then you have a Commander Cody and one regular clone trooper. And it's a decent selection of characters, right? You get good variation there. However, I wish there was at least one more regular clone trooper to help fill out the gunship and maybe even a pilot. Like, at this time, there were clone pilot minifigures so they could have thrown one in this set but they did not and that to me is really disappointing i think five minifigures was just not enough and while i like the figures in this set i will say the 2008 gunship uh, is going to be the worst of the three as far as the minifigures go and finally the 2013 gunship here you have a couple more of those super battle droids like i mentioned in dark metallic gray versus the blue metallic color of 2002 you had a clone trooper captain in red there absolutely gorgeous you had a clone pilot Pilot, which neither of the other gunships had, which is pretty neat, but still uh, missing maybe more regular clones to help fill out the gunship. Obi-Wan Kenobi, Anakin Skywalker, and Padme, of course, fit right 
in from the scene on Geonosis in episode two, where Padme does fall out of the gunship. But this gunship, once more, leaves a lot to be desired as far as clone troopers go, because I just feel like there should be more. And for that reason, I think the best gunship minifigure-wise is 2002. It's just a classic, and maybe nostalgia does play a factor there, but I really like what they had going on in 2002. It really felt well-rounded there. So the 2002 gunship is going to get three points, two points to 2013, and one point. Up next is the playability category for each set, and we'll start out with how you would pick up the 2002 gunship, and that is right here at the midsection. You just kind of lift it up like this, no problem. Uh, this could prove dangerous because this set does not have a handle, so that's just something that this set is lacking. It does have these really nice ball turrets here, which can move in and out of the gunship as you please, as long as the minifigure's not in the way, like in the case of Jedi Bob on the other side, but you can see that it does have a somewhat nice mechanism, although I don't like that it has the second hinge point there. That can get kind of annoying, but still works just fine enough, I suppose, and if you had two hands, unlike me right now, using one hand, maybe it'd be a little bit easier. You can place your clone troopers inside of the pilot seat, as you would expect. There's also a nice little bit of detail with a printed control panel. This set also does not have seats for any characters here on the uh, side laser cannons and that is kind of movie accurate so you are getting some accuracy there but you're losing some playability so you win some you lose some you have some little compartments here where you can actually store some stuff the doors on the gunship can open up to reveal a storage for your clones weapons as well as another little control panel for a clone trooper to work on there on the back side of the gunship you do have this little turret here which can move up and down unfortunately though like the turrets on the front which we'll get to in a moment this does snap off quite often and does prove to be problematic for this particular gunship design. There's a for show only missile launcher here. It's a printed piece, which is pretty nice, kind of like uh, in the gunship, you can raise it up and then pretend like missiles are firing out of it, but alas, no missiles will actually fire out of it. Of note, in one of the uh, Lego Star Wars books, it says this is a handle for carrying. It is not a handle for carrying. You can lift this up here to reveal uh, some generator and engine kind of detail in there, which is really nice, kind of like that. It could have just been a blank space and Lego went ahead and filled it out. Like I mentioned, the turrets on the front are also going to suffer from the same issue as the one on the back, but this set kind of holds the play feature of all play features more or less a secret. You can lift up the pilot seats here just like that and pull the front end of the gunship apart and just like that you have this like huge mobile command center here with little control panels. You actually have a little bit of a compartment here which is going to allow you to store or some items. You can see there are some tools in there, so that is quite nice. Like that quite a bit. I'll close that back up, and it's attached magnetically. You can see another control panel there behind it, and you can actually access that without having to open all this up uh, very easily from underneath the gunship, but it is easier to just open it up and grab at it. It really is wild that this gunship can just open up like this on a whim and become really something else. And speaking of things that can become something else on a whim with, if you go ahead and hold the base of the gunship down like this, and pull up at the top section, you can actually completely pull the gunship apart and basically create a drop ship, which is amazing. Like, you essentially have a Republic drop ship and then you can drop off the gunship here and you can open that up if you want. Like it is pretty insane what this gunship can do playability wise. So there is a ton of fun to be had with this set if you are buying it for kids. Uh, although you can tell that it is from 2002. It does show its age in some places and it will fall apart on you in some places. It's just not the perfect model, but it's a model that really stretches the boundaries for what's possible with the Lego set, and I really appreciate that. So awesome playability features on this set. Let's move on to the 2008 gunship and see how it compares. Much like the 2002 gunship, the 2008 gunship also lacks a handle, meaning you're gonna have to grab it on the side there, but they kind of include uh, these nice ridge pieces here. It's just regular Lego studs, but it kind of creates a nice ridge for you to hold onto. It gives you a nice spot to grab. So that is much appreciated. You'll find that the bubble cannons actually are much better on the 2008 version. Not quite perfect yet, but Better than the previous version, you'll find uh, more of the same in the back, a little bit of a stronger connection in the back, so you're not gonna get as much wobble uh, like you do have on this one. And this does occasionally fall off. That does happen uh, quite a bit with this 2008 model, but still better than the 2002 one. Uh, you can place your pilots in the pilot seat. Unlike the 2002 model, this one actually is on a hinge, so you can just lift it up like that and close it back down. 
very nice and easily. You have a very nice compartment in the front here with a mobile command center hidden within. And if we pull that out, you can see the mobile command center actually has like a little uh, sticker detail there with the little control panel. So that is quite nice. You can store that back up in there. And one of the best things about this gunship is also it's a little back to tank here. You can lift this up. And with the back to tank out, you can put a minifigure in there by opening it like this and placing a character in there. Pretty simple to do. And then we can load it right on back into its bay there. Or you can leave it out and mod the ship to include or hold more minifigures in that particular spot. The doors on this set both open up to reveal your minifigure compartment, which is very nice in there. You actually do have uh, little tiles there with the studs on the back so that works nicely it's not the perfect design in my opinion although i think it looks cleaner than if you just change it out for regular studs which a lot of people did do there's some compartments up above that are going to give you some extra storage just like the 2002 gunship slightly different design but still same concept you'll find on the side of the wings that there's actually a little spot for your minifigures to sit and while the mechanism for this isn't working we'll just pull it apart you can actually see uh, that there is a nice little tiled area for minifigures to sit in it's not very intrusive like you don't really notice it on the gunship too much which is great so it doesn't detract from the design of the gunship but does add quite a bit of playability is if you have enough clone troopers to kind of fill out the set there the back of the set will also feature this very nice little uh, ramp here which when you lower will actually reveal a speeder bike that you can actually have uh, your jedi or clone troopers ride along with and use as kind of an accessory to the gunship which is a really nice design it's not quite a unique design for this gunship but still a nice uh, speed design for the uh, set to be included basically for free in the sets like getting a little extra battle pack piece in the set there's flick fire missiles on top as you would expect most people know how flick fire missiles work you can flick them and they will fire works very simply you can also push them out and they'll just kind of drop down very simply uh, under this compartment here you have basically what is storage but not really usable storage under the front compartment here though you actually have some little probe droids which is really nice so you could take these and fly them around if you wanted to nice little compartment there and that is about it for the playability on this 2008 gunship. Let's bring over 2013 and see how it stacks up. The 2013 gunship finally introduces a handle for you to carry your gunship with. So other than that, you'll find much of the same playability features we do on other gunships. So again, there's that handle beautifully integrated, which allows you to just so easily pick up the gunship and not have to worry about it separating from the bottom section and breaking in your hands. But you have your pilot seat in the front that can open and close. You have a nice little compartment up front here. This one in particular has extra flick fire missiles. This compartment here actually just allows you to put more troops and have more people stand around so that's kind of nice instead of just kind of filling it with useless garbage they just kind of left it open which i'm fine with moving back you have the ball laser turrets here that can push on out and you can actually put a minifigure in them they have some very nice joints which allow you to move it as you would need to to get good angles on the droids down below you have the same deal with the laser turret here very nicely designed and again doesn't really take away from the design of the wing not very noticeable very thin design very beautiful little uh, sticker there, and that closes up very nicely. You have the flick fire missiles on top, which I really like the coloring they did for them, but again, still flick fire missiles. No different in the way that they work than the previous gunship. Moving on down to the bubble turrets, they work exactly the same, but a little bit better design because the actual holder for it doesn't move, just the uh, ball within. So that is definitely important. You'll find uh, the same thing going on on the back, just with a bit of a stronger design. This one doesn't move as easily, so that's kind of nice, kind of get a, a nice nice firm grasp on that and then move that you can lift this up and you have some nice storage space there actually usable storage space so that's a great part of the design which really factors more into the design category i guess you can pull back on these to pull back both doors and you can see you can store your minifigs in there you have a nice little uh, storage box in there which you could put like a weapon or something within very nicely fleshed out interior really like what they have going on there and then just like on the 2008 gunship you actually have this little ramp in the back here and and you can go ahead and pull it on down and this one actually reveals a smaller speeder but it's also more compact because it doesn't take up like that middle section of the gunship which allows you to put your minifigs in more places which i really like but it is a very nice speeder kind of reminiscent to what we saw in like the droid escape set the year prior 
to this gunship releasing, but still a nice speeder nonetheless. And I really like the mechanism they have for storing it a lot better than what they had in 2008. But this gunship definitely has some great playability features and improvements over previous models. Let's go ahead and score them. For playability for me, I think we're gonna have to give three points to 2013, mostly because it has a handle. And I think that is just a huge factor for being able to use a gunship on a regular basis like that. And then I'm gonna give two points each to 2008 and 2002, because I think those are a tie and I think that's a fair assessment of their playability there. I didn't wanna say 2008 is the worst because I don't think it has bad playability. It definitely has like that great uh, extra spot for minifigures on the wings, but you do lose like the epic opening of the gunship. And I don't think it's fair to say when you have something as crazy as that, uh, that this would be the worst. So I went ahead and called them a tie. Let's move on to the design. The design of each gunship is undoubtedly unique. They definitely each have their own flair and style that you'll be able to discern from each other. I mean, 2013 has these very nice rounded canopy pieces for the cockpits, unlike the 2008 and 2002 version, which both look a little bit more blocky. I will say it's a lot more flush at the very front end of the gunship here than it is on the 2013 version. We have a little bit of an overhang and kind of the flap has to come back. And the 2000 and two version where the flap has to go way forward and there's just this giant space there and there's nothing you can really do about it. So those are some small differences in the design there that really make a big difference on each model and the way it looks. But overall, as far as this front cockpit section goes, this one is definitely the flushest in general uh, compared to the others. I really like the way that they kind of included some white underneath there instead of like on this model where it's all red. It looks really clean on that 2013 model. They really did a great job with it. As far as the size of the gunship and the doors go. I think every door kind of opens the same, has the same type of design there. Really easy to use doors for the gunships and really no major differences between any of them. Maybe the 2002 gunship gets a knock for some of the weird colors you're going to see showing through, but that's kind of just what happened back in the day. I mean, there just would be a lot of weird colors showing through on models because they didn't really finish them off as pristinely as they do now in 2013 and beyond, obviously. So you can see on the back, you're not going to see all those crazy colors like you did in 2002 and I think the same story will be uh, in 2008 here although you still get a little bit of yellow so Lego is still not quite perfect and I think you can start to get the idea here that as you move through the years the design progressively gets better I think that's undeniable I mean here you did not have a handle no handle bam handle works beautifully that's a great part of the design the engines and like I think missiles also shoot out of these in the universe but um, it actually gets a lot better better here as well. I think they did a great job updating them in 2008 and really 2013 have hit their stride. Very solid build, very solid there. Not quite as solid here uh, back in 2002. So definitely some more changes throughout the line. You'll also notice that the wings on these models can move up and down very easily, but the 2013 version does away with that completely for accuracy so that it won't do that, which is great. It's just one of those small things that they upgraded. You'll also find the coloring on the wings to be really good in 2002 actually take a step back in 2008 and a step forward again in 2013 so more interesting differences there as far as the underside of the gunship here You'll see it's basically plated off kind of the same on both the 2002 and 2008 gunship. And then as we look to 2013, we'll actually see a little bit of a difference there. They actually changed up the design quite a bit, a lot of Technic down there at the bottom. So kind of interesting to see how that changed throughout the years. And one of the biggest flaws on any of these gunships design-wise to me is on this 2002 version here. You have these nice Republic insignias, which is great. They're printed. They're stickers on both the 2008 and 2013 version. So you can kind of see how that changes over time. Time. But they will actually, when you pick up this model, a lot of times that's kind of where you'll put your hand and you'll just snap them off. And that is really annoying. So they're not really on there very nicely, unlike the future models where they are attached with all four studs. So another small difference. Stickers definitely go a long way on every set, adding quite a bit of detail. And of course, the 2013 version kind of with the cleanest look here. No uh, sticker design, which I guess some people may like because you get that extra added flair personality. But I will also say these triangular stickers here are really clean on this 2013 gunship. They really are clean and they really just blend into the model. Unlike this one where they really stick out. 
and same here can be said they kind of really stick out uh, on the other gunships but in the 2013 version they just really don't like they actually look like from afar they're regular lego pieces unlike when you look at the 2008 version it looks like they're just stickers so overall which one's going to get the best design 2013 that's going to get three points 2008 for the second best design and the worst design has to go to 2002 and like i said i don't think that 2002 is like an awful design terrible design like none of these are terrible designs they're just not as good as 2013 2002 just isn't as good as 2008 it's just pretty simple and next up is the value category and this is very interesting because each of these gunships definitely brings their own strengths and weaknesses to the table they each have very different piece counts and of course they were all kind of released in different eras so we're going to look at this using the inflation adjusted prices i'm actually round them off a little so we'll call this one 130 this one 140 and this one 130 dollars in today's money just to make things very easy on ourselves and i find it very hard to say that for ten dollars more the 2008 gunship provides a better value than the 2013 gunship i don't think that's the case so that means that the 2008 gunship is worse than the 2013 gunship for value and that basically leaves me to think out whether or not 130 dollars for the 2002 gunship which i really like the figures for but the design and piece count is lacking although i'm very adamant that piece count is not the end of the world for me on things like this you're looking at 693 versus 1034 versus 1,175. So that is quite a large difference. And to me, I think it's large enough to say that this one is not a better value than either of these two sets, considering it is basically the same price adjusted for inflation. So we're going to call this the worst value, this the second worst value, and this the best value. And finally, that leaves us in the MNR opinion category. And this is the one where I am just so truly conflicted. I genuinely think these are all three really good gunships and that your personal preference is really going to matter here. Like each one one has its pros and cons. Each one has such a different selection of minifigures that you can choose from. I mean, preferably you would buy all three and just be able to have all three in a perfect world, but maybe you're just trying to decide which one you want, or maybe you're just watching this video for fun and don't care at all about the results of this. But I think that the 2013 gunship has to be my favorite. I mean, it's just the most refined gunship. I will say that the 2002 gunship is a close second though. It has that nostalgia factor and it really is a close second for those minifigs jedi bob of course sitting there in the shadows but for regular clone troopers is just something you don't see in sets a lot and that's something i really liked about some of the older lego star wars sets is that they included a lot of clone troopers and so this model Definitely gets a lot of props for that. Plus those blue Super Battle Droids were really neat and that Droidica model is great. And just to be fair, the 2008 gunship is a really close third. I mean, I would even be close to calling them all a tie in my own heart, but I think I do have a slight uh, preference for the 2013 one. I just think it's such a clean model. Like they did such a great job updating it and making it look substantially different than the other two actually. But this one still has some decent minifigures. Just if it had included more clone troopers, maybe it would be my favorite gunship set. Not really sure how that one could have gone if it did include more clone troopers, but just to be fair, once again, all of these gunships are amazing. I love them all, but one of them has to be better in my opinion, and to me that's the 2013 version. 2002 coming in a close second, and 2008 coming in third, not too far behind either of them. Let's take a look at the final score. And that final score pretty much confirms what I think about these sets. I really think that the 2013 model is just slightly better than the others. The 2002 model coming in a close second and the 2008 model not far behind. You can see 14, 9, and 8 points respectively. Don't forget to vote for your favorite Republic gunship with the card on screen now on the top right of your screen. You guys can also check out more LEGO Star Wars comparisons on my channel or with the link in the description down below to the playlist. Let me know your thoughts on these three gunships down below. I'm very much looking forward to the UCS gunship coming rather soon and maybe we'll revisit this comparison when the UCS gunship comes out, if it's comparable. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.